is another mm -hmm. somewhat quick update. So I have made the a uh, few additions, namely the temperature management system is now fully implemented. It hooks up currently to the LNR and the MTS. And if you don't want it right now, I've also added a few instruments for helping with piloting and made some other minor adjustments. So at the moment, all uh, switch covers are disabled because I was testing uh, improving performance by removing transparent objects. Because Godot has like, a lot of trouble with transparency. I'm also going to disable this so I don't get copyright striked into oblivion. Copyright, copyright stricken? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, so additions we've made if we power up the ship really quickly. Yeah, as you can tell, uh, the switch covers are gone, and yet I'm still getting 47 FPS. Might be because I'm recording, but... Anyways, so up here is the temperature management system. It siphons heat from all systems it's connected to. We can have an arbitrary number of... Fucking, we can have an arbitrary number of coolant loops and connect them to an arbitrary number of things. So as always, it's completely modular. At the moment, it's there are two coolant loops. One's not in use, but... One is connected to both the MTS and the TM, the MTS and the LNR. I also gave the MTS an actual purpose, so now it actually properly affects your thruster speed. And I also made some tweaks to the way you get out and re-enter the ship. You can now re-enter the ship, but I can't really show that due to a bug that I probably would take like two minutes to fix, but I am not going to do that. Anyways, if we enter the planet, See, there's a slightly better texturing. It looks a little bit more realistic. I mean, we can also exit the planet if we fly out this way. Far enough, we'll hit the outer edge of the collider. And any second now. There we go. So yeah, we can leave the planet. We can leave the ship. We can reboard the ship. We're flying off into space right now. But is a pretty good opportunity to show off these two little additions. This is basically our local velocity. It shows our x, y, and z velocity, uh, not relative to our rotation. I'm trying to figure out how to do that, but I don't think it's... It's definitely possible, but I lack the knowledge. It, it's the same vector math problem I had earlier before I discovered a better way to do it there. But that better way does not look like it. And there's also this, which I was planning on having presence, but it ended up being a little more confusing than I thought it was going to be when I was playing it. Basically, it just gives us a general idea of our rotation relative to the world around it. So we can use this to just sort of get ourselves figured out. Just turn on these scopes the next time. But yeah, overall, not much else. Um, I need to come up with a name for this, so if you have any ideas, I mean, put them or something, but yeah, so TMS, gizmos and shit, exit, enter the planet, and re enter our ship. I'm just gonna have to take my word for it on that one, and that's about it. So, probably next one I'm gonna work on is either the fuel cells connecting some stuff up to the ship systems so that they're actually fully 100% functional. Or, most likely, uh, a weapon system, because I have some ideas and some models, like this thing that I made in like 20 minutes, or like like 5 minutes in Blender, and I really want to try and implement them. So yeah, um, see you guys later.